Hey guys, it's Philly and welcome back to Spill Sash. We have got to talk about the drama that is going on around the Hype House because there's a lot of it and they are not looking good right now. Honestly, the Hype House has been problematic for a while now, for like basically their entire existence. And I think that the smartest move that ever came from the Hype House was Charlie and Addison Rae leaving because they completely saved their reputation and just like associating with the Hype House just isn't doing anyone any good especially right now because they are joining in on all of the other influencers that are agreeing to promote Takashi 69 so this is a very controversial situation and it's getting them a lot of hate for this promotion. So basically, you guys, Thomas posted a video on his channel titled Surprising the Hype House with 6ix9ine. And a lot of people are wondering if they were paid to do this video with him because right now Takashi 6ix9ine is going around promoting his newest album, Tattletales. And the sales are projected to completely plummet. They're just you know, it's really not going to do as well as he had hoped. So because of that, you know, he's trying to go on this press tour, but because of his past, which if you don't know, we'll get into, nobody wants to interview him. Nobody wants to promote him. Nobody wants to be associated with any of this mess. That is his past, present, everything in between. So this entire situation, the fact that he has now turned to social media influencers to get promoted, the fact that the hype out, I mean, honestly, you guys, it's just, what were they thinking? Logan Paul also had Takashi 6 9 on his Impulsive podcast, and honestly, I'm truly not surprised by that one. If, like, any of them, I'm honestly more shocked that the Hype House decided to do this. I think they thought, oh my god, a famous person, let's do it. It will get clicks, but not really thinking that this is maybe not the best famous person. Like, he's not that famous for good reason, you know what I mean? So, I totally see Logan doing this because Logan has had controversial people on his podcast before. Four. So I'm really not surprised. I mean, obviously Logan is controversial in his himself, but that's a whole situation. I know that they're actually going to like get into a deep conversation about his past and oh my goodness. But for the Hype House to have such a young audience and to be promoting someone like this, it's very, very strange. And a lot of people were wondering if, you know, he and his management is going around and offering money in exchange for this kind of promotion because obviously kids are on TikTok and they're watching the hype house and if they freaking like him they're gonna use his songs in their TikTok. I mean I already know I think one of his songs is an actual TikTok dance right now but you know members of the hype house are now making TikToks with him in the videos and Olivia Ponte had to delete the TikTok that she made with him because it was absolutely so controversial. Now, in terms of Andres Lopez filming a TikTok with 6 9 it was posted on 6 9s TikTok and he actually ended up deleting the TikTok off of his page. And Andres came out and said that it was because of his PR team and 6 ix PR team made the decision and wanted him to delete it. I'm pretty sure it has to do with the fact that 6 ix 9 got a ton of hate comments after he posted with Andres because a lot of people get him mixed up with Tony and Tony's reputation right now. People are not happy with it. So it definitely wasn't the best PR stunt to pull at a time like this, especially with 6 ix reputation. So everyone was upset all across the board. So let's just dive into a little bit about his past because a lot of people are kind of throwing things all over the place. And there's a lot of information out there from what I know. You know, Takashi 6 ix 9 was in a group 
let's just say that he was in a bad group, okay? He joined this really bad group, okay? And in this group, they did some really bad things. And he had to spend some time in jail because of these really bad things. And originally, he denied charges that were made against him. He ended up taking a plea deal if he basically, like, told on some people and basically got other people in trouble to save himself and he got his sentence reduced but because of the pandemic right now he was able to get released early also because he has asthma apparently so he was able to get released early and be on house arrest and that ended last month and so now he is out and he is going to be promoting his album so he's like fresh out of house arrest like let me go to the hype house but something else that is really sticking with people is the fact that he has something else on his record where he pleaded guilty to in 2016 for one felony count of use of a child in a not good way like a mm. you know what i'm talking about guys because this is just not okay at all and apparently it wasn't like he was doing something it was like he was present for someone else doing something but you know it's still bad it's still bad you know Oh, goodness gracious. But anyways, because of his past and this history, especially with this child situation on his record, a lot of people are so disturbed by the Hype House promoting someone like this to children. And then to have Olivia and Andres post TikToks dancing with him, it's it's weird, it's uncomfortable, and it's just all around a mess. Obviously, there's just so much backlash coming their way. Everyone's saying this is just completely a mistake, that they never should have done anything like this. This is the last thing that they would have ever thought to happen with the Hype House. And people were saying things like, if Charlie was over at the house, like, you guys need to be canceled and all this stuff. It was just... I mean, shocking. I can't believe that they were honestly promoting him. And like I said, anyone that posted TikToks with him from the Hype House ended up deleting them because, you know, they kind of sort of really felt the heat of people being upset that they have this big platform and just seeing things like this, probably not the best for their audience. There were a lot of comments like, does Olivia Ponton not know what 6 9 has done or do I need to tell her? I'm not sure if they literally had no idea what his past entailed, but I feel like in a situation where you have a platform and you're going to be promoting something or someone, you really need to do your research on who you're promoting, what you're promoting, because it can come back to bite you. Like seriously, it can come back to bite you. Even if it's a celebrity, someone that is famous, someone that has a lot of followers, even if you're looking at the numbers thinking, oh my God, they can bring my their audience over to me and we can benefit off of each other. At the end of the day, you need to realize that just because they have a large audience or they are a celebrity does not mean that they are going to be beneficial to you working with them. Like, I don't know, I feel, like especially when you have such a young audience, you really need to be aware of the people that you're bringing in. And this is just a mess and a half. So I really wonder... I'm pretty sure, like, how do they not know? How do they not know? But at least how does Thomas not know? I just, I'm speechless talking about this situation and how ridiculous it all is. I don't know how they thought it was going to be a good idea, but anyways, Andreas actually came out to say that it was awkward dancing with him and it was weird and uncomfortable. And I don't know if he was just saying that to try and maybe take some of the heat off of his back or something and try to make it seem like, oh, well, I didn't really want to do these TikToks. I was forced to do these TikToks or something. But then it puts some heat on Thomas's back because Thomas is the manager of the Hype House. He's the one that brings people in and brings in promotions and all of this stuff. And I mean, his video was literally like me surprising the Hype House with Takashi 69 So, you know, Thomas, you've got some splaining to do because I don't know what you were thinking. But it's very clear that Takashi 69 definitely didn't have any involvement in who was promoting him or what was promoting him because he didn't even know what the Hype House was, so... New Hype House member? <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. No, truly so, really not. I, I, I know a lot of people. It's it's kind of, kind of, <laughs> when did it start? Eight months ago. Yeah. That is that. It's very clear that this is just his team trying to get him back into relevancy in a good way and find a new audience that won't know about his past. 
it's a mess. But let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.